What's this tree? Here we are in the dairy bush, giga panning around. Let's look at the bark. We look at this bark as these deep grooves. You see there's a lot of variability now in bark as we start looking at different species of trees. Even within a species you can see some variability in bark. This one, when it starts off, the bark is quite smooth, and as it gets older, it gets more and more ridged. Interesting thing about this species as well is it grows in open fields. Very powerful taproot that goes down and can break up clay pans in old farm fields. So often a tree that they use in restoration of old fields to make them into a forest or a woodlot. As we start to go up into the canopy and we look at the leaves, we can see that this is quite different from a lot of trees that we see has this exotic look. It looks like a tree that you might see down in the tropics. You know why that is? A lot of trees in the tropics have compound leaves, and this one has compound leaves. Let's take a closer look at these leaves. These are compound leaves, and they're pinnately compound. There's a center rachis, and then leaflets. This whole thing is a leaf. How do you tell? The way that you tell if it's a leaf is you look in the leaf axle and you look for a bud. There's no bud here. If I follow all the way down to where the true bud is, you can see that there's a bud right here in the leaf axle. And if I pull gently on this, it pops off. This is one leaf, cowpound leaf.